Dad, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make a handle for the pan, and this is the pan around it, and then the um, red velvet pancake is in there with the blueberries. Great. And this is a blue velvet cake. Wow. Blue velvet cake. And this is, and this is, a, and this is a green velvet cake. Wow. So you have green velvet, and blue. red velvet, and blue velvet. Blue velvet. Green velvet. Okay, and I'm going to make velvet. the handle a little bit shorter. What inspired you guys well, to make these different types I of like cakes? Mine. Put it, put it in the camp. Put it on the table so I can. Uh, there you go. Awesome. Yeah. Can I get a little close up shot on that? That looks real cool. Is that blue and green mixed together? Yeah. You know what it reminds me of? Like you know, how you see pictures of uh, the planet Earth. Yes. That's what that yeah. reminds me of. But you can't really tell because white on it because <laughs> the clouds and the <laughs> snow. Okay. Oh, clouds! Okay. How are what what made you guys clouds? choose to make these uh, types of cakes? Well, you said, let me ask you, what, why did you decide to make a blue velvet cake? Um, cause Cause Souders was making a cake, um, a pancake, so I just make it too. Okay. Cool. And you and Souda. What inspired you? What made you decide to do a uh, red velvet cake with uh, what's that the blue on top? Blueberries. Blueberries. Well, because once I ate a red velvet um, pancake, and it was really good. Okay. But then I tried, and then I did something different and put blueberries on top. Because the um, pancake was plain, it didn't have Ooh, anything so on it. Wow. So then I add something new. Awesome, I love that. And Musa, can you please tell everybody what inspired you to do to make a green velvet cake? What made you want to make a green velvet cake, Musa? Because the pancake. Mm -hmm. um, it was it looked really good when I ate it. It looked good, and you ate it. Did you ever have green velvet cake before, Musa? No. No. Okay. And I'm gonna flip the pancake. <laughs> ah, all right. And this is the pan. Those things right there. That's the pan. Okay. And then I did. I didn't put it all around. I only put these the play doh around. And some play doh around the pancake and pretended that it was a part of the pan. The edges so of the pan. Like <laughs> awesome. But all the right. pan is red. Everything now is red except for the for blueberries. Right finale, I'm gonna make sparkle. Your grand finale. I love it, Musa. Well, I just wanted to show everybody a couple of things that you could do with your kids. Um, you know, they, there's some activities they can do to I'm help to keep them from person. sitting in front of the computer and sitting in front of the television. I got some Play-Doh um, that I'm going to use uh, with one of my students that, that I tutor. Or and so I bought, I bought some Play-Doh for the house as well. So I told my kids, I said, come on, you guys, let's do something creative. And this is what they decided to do. So this is some awesome stuff, y'all. All right. Talk to you guys next time. Happy reading.